sensors in food technology. Sensor is a device that detects and responds to a specific type of trigger from the physical setting. This trigger can be light, heat, motion, moisture, pressure, etc. Today, we see that sensors have developed to master the day-to-day -day challenges with reliable and practical solutions for the requirements of the food and beverage industry. They are also considered as smart keys for safe, efficient and sustainable production now and in the future. Above all, sensors have been preferred because they are hygienic and efficient processes at the highest product quality. Let's look at the role of sensors in food processing. The first one is precision monitoring of temperature, moisture and pressure throughout the food production processes. We also see that the sensors help in improving the efficiency and optimize the resource utilization, reducing waste and energy consumption, ultimately enhancing the efficiency of food processing operations. They help in quality control by maintaining a consistent product quality by detecting variations and deviations, preventing defects and ensuring uniformity. Also, they are important in regulatory club compliance, where sensors assist in meeting strict food safety standards and regulatory requirements, ensuring consumer protection and compliance with industry regulations. Finally, and the most important, they help in the safety assurance. Sensors contribute to food safety by identifying contaminants, pathogens or irregularities in real time, allowing for immediate and corrective actions. The different types of sensors are shown here that are commonly used in food and beverage industry. We have sensors such as a pressure sensor, a temperature sensor, a motion sensor, which are all very important and basic, and advanced sensors like the accelerometer sensor, infrared, smoke sensors, proximity sensor, which is a very new addition, and a gyroscope sensor. Let's look at some of the types of sensors used in food processing industries. The basic ones, as I mentioned, include the temperature sensors, moisture, pressure and pH sensors. So the temperature sensors monitor and control temperatures during cooking, baking, refrigeration and storage. Moisture sensors help in measuring the moisture content in food products and assist in quality of food products. Pressure sensors are used to ensure the integrity of packaging seals and safety in pressurized systems. Finally, the pH sensors they measure the acidity or alkalinity of food products and play a crucial role in controlling flavors, textures and the other types of sensors commonly used in food industries include flow sensors which control the rate of liquid ingredients in the mixing, filling and dispensing processes. They maintain accuracy in recipe formulations and filling operations. We have gas sensors which can detect gases like oxygen, carbon dioxide and ethylene in packaging and storage environments. And they help to maintain optimal gas composition for preserving food quality. Optical sensors are used for detecting contaminants, foreign particles or irregularities in food products. They also contribute towards food safety and product quality. Metal detection sensors identify and reject metal contaminants in food products. They enhance the food safety by preventing foreign objects from reaching the consumers. Some of the modern sensors that are used in food and beverage industries are the proximity sensors, which detects the presence of close by objects without any physical contact. The second one is the E a nose which detects odor which the human nose cannot detect and finally the e tongue which mimics the gustatory system of human beings some of the details of commonly used and interesting sensors are the time temperature sensors 
which is very important in any food processing industry. A time temperature sensor measures the time and temperature during the shipping of the produce, providing time and date stamps and temperature data points transmitted via Bluetooth. This is in addition to the normal functioning of time temperature sensors used inside a food processing industry to measure and optimize the time and temperature combinations of any processing of food product. This which has been mentioned here includes the effect of uh, time temperature sensors during the supply chain and logistics management. So we see here that there is a Bluetooth logger which is placed in the shipment and the product is placed in the vehicle for delivery. So the, this sensor also keeps a check over the time and temperature of the product inside during the delivery and the data is retained within the cloud software and can be viewed anywhere and any time. Interesting facts are that it provides instant access to temperature records from anywhere and alerts are sent immediately if the temperature varies from the standards. So you can see in this figure that there has been a, a, a system validation, audit trail could be done, restricted access is given to uh, identify the changes if any, which requires essential training, records are generated based on quality procedures and digital signatures are maintained. Also, this uh, process complies with the 21 CFR part 11, which in details means CFR meaning the Code of Federal Regulations and 21 CFR part 11 in industrial terminologies means that there is an ensurement that data, any data stored or exchanged electronically is secure, accurate and reliable. It also requires companies to adhere to certain standards of data security. The next group of sensors is the pressure sensors. Pressure sensors are also referred to as the piezometers, pressure transmitters, pressure transducers and pressure indicators. Uh, basic aspects of pressure sensors include that it is a device for measuring the pressure and transforms into an electrical signal. Mm -hmm. The pressure of below atmospheric pressure can be measured using these types of sensors. Uh, and modification of the pressure sensors include uh, the vacuum sensors which are used to measure the pressure lower than atmospheric pressures. Pressure sensors used in industrial process can monitor, control and automatically correct the production process. It can also improve product quality and reduce waste production. Humidity sensors is the next class uh, of very commonly used sensors. Uh, for the beginning, let us understand humidity is the amount of water in the surrounding air, which can easily and accurately be measured by using a humidity sensor. These are used to achieve comfortable, safe and efficient environments to control the temperature of the room and to prevent respiratory issues from mold growth. These are also known as hygrometers which is a very common terminology and they are electronic devices that measure the surrounding air's humidity. The data is converted into a corresponding electrical signal from the electrodes inside the sensor probe. These sensors are used in ovens, greenhouses, food processing and laboratory applications. We have different types of uh, humidity sensors capacity humidity centers which measures the relative humidity commonly used in heating, ventilation and air conditioning in food processing systems and in appliances such as refrigerators, ovens, resistive humidity sensors which measures the relative humidity and here it is used commonly in industrial, domestic and commercial applications. Thermal conductivity humidity sensors measures absolute humidity. Let's note here that the capacity humidity sensors and resistive humidity sensors measure RH, whereas the relative conductivity humidity sensors measures the absolute 
humidity or AH. So these absolute humidity sensors used in high temperature and high corrosive environments, they are widely used within drying machines and kilns, ovens and food dehydration. The next type of sensors is proximity sensor. This is an electronic sensor that can detect presence of close by objects without any physical contact. We have in this class inductive sensors that can detect metal objects, capacitive sensors which can detect liquid, glass, plastic, wood and granulated substance and ultrasonic sensors which are widely used and can act on solid materials including flour, potato and liquids like water, oil and juice. Electronic nose. This is a modern uh, sensor, the e-nose. This is an order analysis instrument that mimics the mammalian olfactory system. This technology comprises a range of electrochemical sensors for pattern recognition capable of recognizing simple and complex orders. The simple parts of an electronic nose are as follows. There is a sample delivery system which helps in generation of volatile aroma compounds from headspace of a sample injected into the detection system. It passes on into the detection system where volatile aroma compounds are absorbed on the sensor surface, changing the physical properties to electrical signals. And the computing system which records data computed on the basis of statistical model. The next uh, modern sensor is the e tongue This is a technology composed of a set of sensors that react when immersed in chemical solutions. So mostly used in liquid samples, there is a chemical sensor array which passes on the signals to the computer, which recognizes the pattern using the artificial neural network and the data is analyzed. Basically, it consists of an electrochemical cell which is called as a sensor array, a measurement module and an appropriate pattern recognition capable of recognizing simple and complex systems of molecules that form the taste. This is a brief uh, um, comparison of what a human tongue is and what are the different parts in an electronic tongue. Unlike the human tongue, the e-tongue has improvements in sensitivity and selectivity that are able to consistently envisage the quality of samples quickly and accurately.